Hey guys, it's your favorite gold miner prospector and geologist, Jeff Williams. And today we're headed up here into the mountains because I saw a huge cave when we were flying over when we were on Southwest Airlines. And there's this beautiful road here, <laughs> if you want to call it a road, that goes all the way up. And I think it's right up in that area right there. But the problem is, is the sun is going down. Ooh, and it gets cold out here. And the umpa umpas come out. Shh, I can hear them out here. Looks like somebody else is out here too. Oh, oh, I see something cool right over there. You see it? You might not, but I can. See the red mine dump up there? There's one, two, three. I didn't see that on the map. So I don't know if we should continue going up the canyon or check out these mines, huh? Why don't you tell me down in the comments what I should do? Oh, there's another cave right there. See that round one, sweetie? Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at this. I got some, oh, lots and lots of hematite. Oh, look at that. See that? See that limonite in between the hematite and the bog iron? That's a good sign. That's why they were digging the heck out of this thing. But it might be worth sampling. There might be silver in there too. You can see where the, uh, they tried to foam this up. I don't know why. And it's in limestone, so you know it's gonna be a replacement deposit. Now, if I had a granitic intrusion here that was up against the limestone and I had limonite, oh yeah, 90% got gold in it. But this, this looks more like silver than anything. And I got two more up on the side of the hill. I find it funny that BLM come up here and try to foam plug this thing. What is it, maybe 10 feet deep? Wow, look at that view. That's where we're at. And way up in there. Oh man, that's a rough road too. Of course, I left my pick hammer and the toy. Wouldn't you know it? See the limestone? And then you see this replacement body here. And then on the outer margins here, I've got limonite. This would be worth sampling. Actually, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I got big old chunks of bog iron in there too. You can see that they pulled out this piece and they started working in and that looks good. You can see the vein material right there they found on the surface. And now they're working up against the hanging wall. So what I'll do is I'll do a grab sample on a mine dump and I'll cherry pick the best pieces. And that's what you should be doing too if you come out to these old mine sites and you suspect that they were mining gold or looking for gold, you're gonna wanna sample the mine dumps first. It's so much easier unless you explore the mine, which I don't advocate, and you start to see some really good high grade in there. Just screen it down, 20 minus, pan that out with jet dry, and it'll give you somewhat of a snapshot. You can even do grab samples of some of the rocks out here and then crush those up and see if you got anything. Yeah, I know, enough of that chin wagon. Get on up there and find us a cave or some gold. Man, you guys are a tough crowd. Wow, look how rugged that is. And I see caves everywhere. But the cave I saw was massive. Like I said, I could see it from the airplane. Starting to be more curious about the mines than the cave. Look at this. There's the extension vein right there going up the side of the hill. And this goes all the way over here. Good thing I ate my Wheaties, huh? And supposedly there's some people up in there too. I don't know how they got up there. I guess they walked, but man, it's getting cold and dark. Maybe they're doing the funky monkey chicka wow wow PG. Yeah, the road gets squirrely. You see that? Yeah, it gets pretty. Pretty sideways there, bro. Oh wait, I think the road disappears. But there's a cave right there, you see it? You think the road goes to the cave, sweetie? Oh, you can see where everybody else is turned around right here because there's no more road. Who makes a road out in the middle of nowhere? This is insanity. You can see where the hardcore four-wheelers came this way. But the question is, is who, co oh, there's a trail here too. There's a trail. But I'm really curious about that guy right there. And look at this. That's prime area for cave formation. But still, why is this here? Wow, you had people that drove all the way over to here. Are you insane? Oh, now it's got my curiosity peaked. Nobody builds a road out here for nothing. Unless there's something here, right? All right, we'll take a peek around. What do you think, sweetie? Are we gonna smash that like button? Yes, smash it hard! I love that. I gotta get my ringtone to say that. People have been driving up this. That's insane. Now I know we talked about this before on another video. Oh wow, check it out. Look at that. That's ore. That's right, that's limonite 
and I got some hematite in there and some bog iron like we saw down below, but what's it doing over here? Oh, now it's starting to realize what this road is for. Yeah. But I gotta hurry and get up there because the sun's gonna go down. And when the sun goes down, the umpa umpas come out. And I don't like the umpa umpas. You don't like them either, do you, sweetie? Are you cold? All right, all right. Look at this, somebody tried to drive up here. Are they insane? Insane in the brain brain. Insane in the brain. That looks like a massive cave. Oh, it's the mother load. I'm gonna try to run up to that cave real quick and I'm gonna stick my head in there. Hopefully there's nothing in there waiting to say hello, huh, sweetie? I found little pieces of ore up here too, sweetie. There's another one right there. And there's another one right here. See that? There is something here. Oh, why do you gotta do that to me? All right, do we have time to get up there? You wanna, you wanna do the drone and come back? Oh yeah. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> she's so smart. Oh my gosh, so what we're gonna do is, yeah, good idea, we're gonna fly the drone all of these spots. Cause I can cover so much more ground with a drone than I can on foot. And like I said, it's getting, it, it don't look it, but man, it's getting chilly. We didn't bring jackets. Wah, 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 I know, right? All right, let's make it back to the toy and get the drone, sweetie. Okay. Not only did you have the Paiute that lived up in here, and maybe even the Anazazi before them, but you also had the white man who were scouring these hills looking for any type of mineral deposits. Because on the other side of this mountain is the oldest mine in Nevada. Let's see how many of you guys can figure that one out. Leave it down in the comments if you know what the oldest mine in Nevada is. I don't think you guys will get it, but give it a shot anyway. You'll get an A for effort.
Now I know this was a short video, but we had expected to go further up into the canyon and take a look around for that cave. We'll do it again, just like we did with the V cave. I gotta keep the boss lady happy and I don't want her freezing her booty off, okay? And at the end of this month, we're giving away a brand new Gold Monster 1000 metal detector. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about that, but what you didn't know is that we're also giving away a brand new Keen 140S dry washer with hose and gas powered backpack and a Keen puffer dry washer with electric motor. All you need is a solar panel. You run that thing all day long or night for you guys out there doing those night runs. And of course, as always, we give away the 10 bags of incredibly rich pay dirt and each bag comes with a one ounce silver bar. And I'm telling you, these bags are world famous. There are no bags out there in the world that are richer than these. They look something like this. Yeah! Now, if you guys want to get your hands on any of that stuff, all you got to do is look for the little icon of the video that looks like that. Click on it, make a $10 pledge, and you instantly qualify to get your hands on any of that stuff. And next year, we're going to be giving away the Gold Monster 2000 and the Keen Rock Crusher. I know you guys want to get your hands on that stuff. And if you got any suggestions on stuff you'd like to see us give away, leave that down in the comments. Because if it's doable, we'll give it away. Except for a brand new airplane or side-by-side, -side, Max. And I'll see you on the next video. Smash that like button. Smash your car. Yeah. <laughs> I love that.